21 women reveal what it was like to have sex with a large or small penis, guys, you best see this. 8. Pleasure oversize I've had moderately small to moderately very large, I generally prefer larger, but a lot of guys with big dicks think that all they need to be good at sex is a big dick. I'd rather take a guy with an average dick who cares about my pleasure any day. 9. A bruised cervix sounds terrible one of my exes was around 8. 593 and a big girth. I'm 52. It was pretty uncomfortable since it took a while to actually fit it in, even with copious amounts of lube, and I was even bearing tears on a few occasions along with the bruised cervix. It wasn't that pleasant, yet then again, if we slowed it down or something then maybe it wouldn't have been that bad. It was fun giving him head, though. 10. Looks like it's confidence I've had both, honestly neither were that life-altering in either a good or bad way. For very large, mostly in width, we seem to have the ideal situation of him being too large and me being too tight so, while when it was good, it was very good, it didn't last long without slipping out and, after trying many different positions to see what works best, we ended up giving up the sex, was just too much work. For very small, it was actually better than the very large, because what it lacked in size, he made up for in speed. He did a lot with what was given to him, and didn't seem embarrassed at all. So for tips, if you're very large, lots of foreplay, make sure she's super wet, and she spreads those legs. 12. Be good at something else, too I dated a guy with a legitimate micro peen. He was very upfront about it the first time we made it to the making out stage. It goes a long way. 11. Hair on the shaft. The worst thing about a short dick is the hair on the shaft and the fact that most guys are super insecure, so they tend to prematurely come. The worst thing about a big dick is that the guy often thinks that's all he needs to bring to the relationship. 12. Be good at something else, too I dated a guy with a legitimate micro peen. He was very upfront about it the first time we made it to the making out stage. I wasn't quite to the point where I thought we might be long term, so I have to admit that I may have proceeded more out of curiosity than actual sexual feelings. During that first bout, there were several, and you'll understand why in a minute, he was obviously very weary of letting me get near the area. He would caress my hand and guide it away anytime it got close to the zipper zone. He was so suave about it that it was easily ignored, though. It helped that he was a level 10 kisser and so in tune with reading my cues. As things progressed, I found myself fully undressed while he had everything intact. I'm telling you, he was a smooth motherficker. I don't even remember how, but he guided me to the carpet and proceeded to perform acts of God on my lady region. I believe years of not being able to have conventional sex have given him oral superpowers. I had orgasms too numerous to count, and I'm convinced I partially blacked out at one point before this night, I would have seriously called bullshit on that actually being a thing, but goddamn if it isn't real. Long story short, I never did get to see the goods that first night. I remember feeling a little embarrassed the next morning for the amount of thanks and praise I gave him immediately following the last, exhausting orgasm, I'm talking a good 20 minutes worth of OMFG, you are the most amazing man on earth type thing. We did attempt a penetration on one drunken night, but it just wouldn't happen. The size was a serious issue, but the bigger problem, no pun intended, was that it just didn't get conventionally hard. It was maybe less soft, but definitely not hard. So, it just didn't happen. Anyway, my experience with an extremely small penis was pretty positive because the guy took amazing steps to compensate. He's a pretty good guy to boot, so I hope he someday finds a woman who appreciates the hell out of his skills. 13. Romance the hell out of him I'm by, but until I was 17 or 18 I thought that I was only interested in girls. When I was 19, I started dating a boy and we slept together five times before my hymen broke. I had just assumed it had bested at some point during all the finger banging, head, or that I was one of those women who didn't have one. His dick was about three inches long and kind of skinny. 
but I didn't know any better, I was used to fingers anyway. Dated another guy much later with a dick thicker around than my wrist, probably 8 inches long. There was no such thing as quickies. He had to romance me if he wanted to put that thing inside me. 14. Sex is more than just size I had a partner who was basically a mushroom head connected to a pile of pubes when soft, I think he was 2 inches hard as a result of a twisted testicle he was born with and had to get surgery for. He was also unable to orgasm from another person manipulating his penis or fucking as much as he did enjoy that because of the surgery he had to have when he was a kid. He was skilled determined orally, good with his fingers, and though he had no problem making me orgasm, many sexual positions were a total no-go because of his size which was at times disappointing. Overall though he was fine in bed because he cared about pleasuring and found other ways to do that. My first penis and vagina sexual experience was with what I consider a large penis, 9 inches at least and fat, and I remember it being difficult to work with at times. By size alone it wasn't a huge satisfier, and he was so inexperienced there were no orgasms happening for me at all, so even though in theory sex should have been better, it wasn't. A big dick does not mean a great partner. So much of sex is about touch, anticipation, generosity, comfort levels, tenderness and filth, things that have nothing to do with penis size and everything to do with the energy between two people. Also anyone who laughs at a guy for his dick is pretty shitty, it's obviously something that a person has no control over and if you care that little about their feelings you should perhaps not fuck them.